short, more historic sort of survey of uh, one concept about the clay. So a secret history of clay from Gogang to Gomli was actually, um, as what it said, from Gogang's more vessel-based object to Gomli's more in installation-based large-scale clay works. So it was really to see modern and contemporary art from the perspective of this clay as a medium, and not as a sort of craft material. So it showed how one medium particularly played uh, its role in history of contemporary art. So you can see Marcel Duchamp's uh, work as a, some sort of clay-based work, although it was ready-made, to Liu Jianhua's um, very recent ceramic works and a British artist Edmund de Waal's um, minimal stacks of contemporary vessels. And pop art and other cultural side of contemporary life is always been quite um, prominent in Tate Liverpool's programs. Liverpool being the home of Beatles and other sort of popular cultural references really show our audience's particular interest. So we try to address that as much as possible. Some of Love was uh, out of the psychedelic era, so it was about 60s and early 70s international art. And it, it was quite well received. One of the most shown uh, exhibitions Kate Liverpool ever staged. So it was about pop culture, mind-altering drugs, and uh, all the other sort of um, in interesting side of the time. And we tried to make, again, uh, the whole environment of the concept in the gallery. And Bruce Norman's um, show was again quite critically acclaimed and showing his mathematical thinking method behind all this new media art and tried to show how this artist made his works and it was quite current at the time. And um, Liverpool Biennale is one of the important programs we do at Hate Liverpool. And in 2006, especially, was quite interesting to see South America and um, Taiwan being in the, the central focus. And we had consultant curators from South America and uh, Taiwan and showed quite a lot of artists, including seven Asian artists. And Chen Chezen uh, showed some of the videos and photography works there. And Yang Ji Chang, an Australian-born Toba Kaduri, was one of the artists as well. And they were really showing their works for the first time in the UK. So that was quite interesting um, place for the audience to see the new artist in different light. And Singapore-born Sim Lin Jill and Taiwanese artist Li Mingwei were, were the participants as well. And Chu Gang uh, Yu and Jun Yang also participated. And quite interesting thing was all these artists tried to make new works, new, new commissions for the Tate Liverpool Biennial. And it was all about how these artists from different world saw Liverpool as a city and its environment. So it was quite interesting new light about the city's actual life as well as like artistic thinking. And recently we had 
Jake and Dinos Chairman, one of the um, important artistic collective uh, brothers for British art. And as usual, they tried to challenge all sorts of given ethics, morals, and um, ideas about art and related topics. And they're always quite um, provocative in their forms and um, themes and lots of ideas about uh, genetic engineering and mutation, environment, war, violence. So it was, it had quite a lot of sections cordoned off to over 18 only because it was sexually or uh, exploited or too violent for some, some viewers. But obviously that always attracts visitors for, um, because it, they, they always um, get quite interested in what, why, what's the sort of institutional boundaries are about these things. So it's always quite um, a big test for us and audience as well as um, the artists involved. And we had a show called The Real Thing, Contemporary Art from China in 2007, and it was uh, one of the major surveys of Chinese contemporary art in public institution in the UK. And we showed 18 artists, from, mainly from Beijing and Shanghai, and it was co-curated by Tate Curators and uh, Beijing-based curator Karen Smith. And artists included were Ai Weiwei, a new commission for the Dock area near Tate, Liverpool, and Xu Zhen's Everest piece, which is now in Tate collection, and Yang Fudong's uh, new commission again, six screen video installation specially made for the occasion. And that is in Tate collection as well. And we do try to have a really established British artist with perspectives as well. And one example was Peter Blake. And uh, it showed like 50 years of worth of his works in one very coherent uh, manner. And it showed really how British pop art sort of re-established itself in international scenes. Peter Blake being one of the very important figures in British pop art. And as promised, I'll, I'll talk more about Turner Prize. Because in 2007, Turner Prize um, was held at Tate Liverpool rather than Tate Britain. It was always, it still is, held in Tate Britain every year. And it's, it's kind of the artist of the year thing. And Turner is a, obviously named after great English painter Turner. And the prize is always given to British artists, but the term of British artist is quite wide. So it could be British-born artists living abroad or internationally working artists from any part of the world, but living and working in Britain. In 2007, it was specially held at Brit uh, Tate Liverpool because it was the curtain raiser for 2008. 2008 was the European Capital of Culture year for Liverpool, so we had a lot of big scale exhibitions and events. And this was sort of uh, the first curtain raiser um, held in like end of 2007 and lasted until the beginning of 2008. The four nominated artists were Zarina Bimji and Mike Nelson, Nathan Corley and Mike Wallinger. And Wallinger finally won Tate Turner Prize that year. And it was uh, by this work called State Britain. It was um, very complicated 
but true replica of an empty world demo, uh, kind of demo sort of thing, um, anti-war movement by this one individual in front of the British Parliament. And he is still there, and this was actually a replica of his um, activism. And he made all his photographs, copies of his banners and things, accumulated for the last 10 years. And because it was all um, taken by the police that year, the artist tried to um, copy them as much as possible, as close as possible. And it was very um, poignant in terms of its political and its artistic meanings. So the juries just thought that was the best work for the last 12, 12 months, which is the basic criteria for Turner Prize. And Gustav Klimt, we do more than artist shows as well. And that was the, the most visited shows ever staged in Take Liverpool. Um, we just had so many visitors, we had to open late and open every day of the week and still had a lot of visitors until the end. And the fifth floor is one of the quite interesting shows we showed. It had uh, many international artists, but it was all about interactive artistic practices and um, very engaging kind of art. We, what we call at the moment, like um, the aesthetic, relative aesthetics. So it was how the audience engage with art, and we encourage it. Uh, really directly and sort of focusing on the viewer's reactions rather than the creator or the artist's intentions. So the artists were all sort of open and inviting uh, any, any kind of responses to their work. And one of the artist groups was Xi Jinping, uh, with Chinese, Korean and Japanese artists all working together. And other artists included uh, Rene Fixtra, Pavel Altama, and Tino Segal. And some of the works were just made there and not really remaining as a form but, or object, but just as a performative activities. <laughs> 